Hi, my name is Dave Olson. I'm a product marketing manager at Renesis Electronics, and we're here at ARM TechCon 2017. And we're demonstrating a variety of uh, pretty cool demos here at the booth. And what I'm going to show you right now is a, a UI design that was done using the QT uh, uh, graphical design tools running on the RZ G1M microprocessor. Uh, it's one of uh, uh, Renesis' high-end uh, embedded microprocessors that has a 3D graphics accelerator, supports OpenGL, uh, ES, and makes for some excellent smartphone caliber user interfaces on an embedded device. So what we chose to do for more or less a proof of concept here is implement a smart oven uh, uh, demo. So you could envision on uh, an appliance these days, you, you, you typically want to have a nice user interface, 2D kind of LCD interface, and that's what we've done here. So you can see there's an interesting temperature gauge. You can set uh, the time to cook using spinner dials like you would expect to see on a smartphone. And maybe I should set the temperature as well here. You can set the temperature with this little widget. So if I set it to say 275, 265 degrees, you can see that once I kick this off, the needle will start to rise. So it's all very smooth, very nice sort of graphics. There are multiple screens here so that you can uh, so that we can showcase some of the smartphone type functions that you'd expect, like pinching, or we can go to an embedded list of uh, uh, recipes and slide or swipe these over. So let's say I want to select a particular recipe and just pop it right into my simulated oven so that it, maybe I can zoom in on it. That gives me a nice simulated um, look and feel of what you might get in a real smart oven. We could switch to a real camera as well and do the same types of operations with the pinching and so forth. What we're thinking about doing at some point, if we get around to it, if we have enough time, is we're going to connect this video image through an image processing pipeline to do some embedded, um, uh, embedded artificial intelligence on it to do object identification on real content so we could really create a simulated smart oven. So we haven't done that yet, but something we can do and we've done with other types of demos. So what I guess I'd like to just summarize by saying is that you can create absolutely excellent UIs with the RZG uh, microprocessor and QT is a great tool to help you do that.